Okay, welcome. We're gonna uh, disassemble this phone, uh, Galaxy Note 3, from uh, T-Mobile. So, just in case you need uh, just an idea, the steps to open this phone. Um, the main reason you wanna uh, open it is because you're gonna replace the uh, charging port. Okay, this damage. So we need to open it and uh, replace for a new one. So. Okay, you're gonna remove all the screws using a Toma 66 uh, size screwdriver, and we may need a flat and a screwdriver as well. Okay, so uh, or you can use a plastic opener; it's up to you. Uh, but I'm gonna use as this one and the screwdriver. Okay. Okay, so once we remove every uh, screw and the SIM card and the uh, style pen style stylus pen, I'm sorry. We're gonna use the uh, flat end screwdriver. You wanna start by the charging port area, uh, since uh, we know that there's not not many uh, cable somewhere that we we can damage. Okay, so we're gonna insert the screwdriver at this end of the charging port. And before continuing, uh, remember that uh, I forgot to tell you this one, but uh, remember that by opening this phone yourself you're gonna lose the warranty okay so i'm so sorry that i didn't mention that before uh, but uh, the only thing is because you don't want to contact the manufacturer anymore or uh, no insurance on the phone okay um i'm gonna try to leave a note on the video at the beginning so you know that okay using the screw refresh screw now you're gonna insert this area and uh, carefully don't push too hard and uh, open it okay okay so we're gonna pop this one this way okay and we are able to lift it so just uh, go around with your plastic opener or the screw and uh, just uh, pop up the back frame Okay. All right. So, all right. So this is the flex cable for from the touch screen digitizer. So make, make sure be careful not to um, force the screw over there, and um, you may damage the flex cable. I believe it's the the LCD. I'm sorry. Alright, so this is uh, basically the motherboard of the phone. Uh, since uh, if you need to remove the motherboard, uh, you're gonna disconnect the, uh, this is the front face camera. I'm gonna pop it up to disconnect it and uh, fold down itself. Okay, so this is the front face camera for this one. Okay, well, let's connect these uh, two flex cables. Uh, I'm gonna remove and uh, okay this is this is gonna be not hard to do. I'm gonna disconnect the coaxial cable that connects from the charging port, Wi-Fi antenna to the motherboard. Um uh, I'm gonna disconnect also this flex cable that is uh, connecting and this one. Okay, so now the motherboard is uh, loose by this area, this side. Uh, there's nothing other screws attached to the motherboard such as I'm gonna pop up the motherboard okay so this is the life of your phone so basically it's the most expensive part the touch screen digitizer and the LCD alright so this is the front uh, main camera uh, rear camera such as uh, pop up this flex cable connector I mean and if you need to change on the camera just uh, remove it like that and this is the uh, SIM card and external memory card slot so it's uh, if only if you know how to uh, uh, this salt you can uh, a solder you can uh, take this off, off and on so all right so this is the uh, volume switch and the power uh, volume switch and the uh, camera flash 
Okay, so you need to remove the audio jack uh, adapter. Just remove the screw from here and make sure not to mix it with the other screws in order that to. So when you are going to assemble this spoon, um, it's not going to be very difficult for you. So you're going to pop up this. Uh, audio jack adapter like this so just remove and it come along with the ear speaker okay so you need to change your ear speaker or audio jack basically you need to replace both because it's uh, both comes together okay and this is the vibrator, okay? So if you need to replace the vibrator, just uh, insert the screw at this side and lift it. It only has a glue on it, and this is a flex cable. So um, I'm not gonna remove it just uh, because. Oh, and I'm sorry, and also the uh, uh, power power button is uh, the flex is only a flex cable connected to the, with the vibrator together so uh, you need to replace both if you need to replace the power uh, flex cable you need to um, buy well comes together with the vibrator so or you need to replace the vibrator also need to replace together with the power button okay so uh, you can easily remove it as well, just uh, pop it up, uh, be very careful, insert the um, flattened screwdriver, but the uh, frame, and uh, lift it, okay, I won't do it because this doesn't work properly, so I don't want to damage, the only thing you want to remove is because it doesn't work properly, so it doesn't matter, okay. Okay, so we get to the main reason that we are... Uh, uh, this assemble this one is to change the charging port okay so um, we uh, to remove the charging port just uh, we're gonna insert the flatten screwdriver and lift this uh, uh, panel okay so let's figure out the which size is much better okay this side the charging port this left we have a little we can insert the screw here uh, okay we're gonna pop up the metal that is protecting the charging port okay so okay so we're gonna insert carefully and only has glue so you're gonna pop little by little don't well if it's working make sure not to uh, fold it okay alright so just uh, this is this is the way to remove the charging port unit and the Wi-Fi antenna as well okay and the microphone so if the microphone it doesn't work properly you basically need to um, buy the complete unit the kind of charging port wi-fi antenna and the microphone and it, sometimes it's kind of hard to somebody to listen to you uh, just uh, you need to somehow clean this area uh, because sometimes uh, it's dust um, cover the the microphone um, area so that's why you won't be able to other person the other side is not able to listen hear you when you talk so uh, this is the microphone and this is the microphone um, mesh so you need to clean this one okay if that's your issue that it doesn't uh, the microphone is uh, not working properly so all right so this is uh, how to disassemble this phone um, find my other video on how to replace the charging port on this galaxy note 3 but 
and if you need to change the screen of this phone um, if you're not able to buy everything as it is but only the uh, touch screen digitizer so just an idea you need a heat gun uh, in a lower speed and hit this area for maybe 10 seconds and then I'm gonna use a flattened screwdriver or something and insert this way or push it push from inside from the camera slot and push and then uh, once this lift uh, just use a uh, plastic opener uh, one like this okay and insert it okay insert it in uh, under the touch screen stage and uh, slide it alone but if it is hard to slide then just hit uh, a little bit more until you're able to uh, or be able to open it okay and now uh, using a, a longer plastic you can just insert it hit this area because it has some like a glue under the touch screen digitizer so you need to uh, find a, a larger like a sim card uh, the SIM card um, uh, that comes with the regular SIM card, the big one, and just uh, slide it along with the heat, okay? And uh, so, yeah, it's a way to remove the touchscreen digitizer, okay? Um, I'm gonna make a video on the Samsung Galaxy Mega on how to uh, remove just the glass, so you have, you have an idea, it's kind of the same with this Galaxy Note 3, okay? And Alright, so that's the everything. You have any other questions? Uh, let me know on this uh, uh, phone, and I hope that this uh, somehow help you on your uh, needs. Okay, thank you.